My guest is Chris. Chris, you called the show, why? Um, I called the show because I'm 17 years old and I've never met my biological mother ever in my life. Um, she walked out on me. She handed me over to my grandparents when I was three months old. And my dad was, he stayed around. He was 19 when he, um, I was born and she was 16. But she kind of, she said she wasn't ready for it. She walked out, but my dad said, I'm gonna man up, I'm gonna stay. So he stayed around, he helped raise me. And out of all, like, since three months old to now, I've never seen her face, I've never met her ever, so. So basically, you have no recollection, you were only no, three months I've, old. I don't even know what her face looks like, never, never and, met her. And so why are you here? Um, I, I wanna meet her because like, from what my parents have told me, she wasn't all that great to me. She tried to suffocate me in a bathtub. She tried, she took me and she took me underwater and she tried to suffocate me, but then somebody walked in and then she let me go and then that was it. And then it was just all that and then um, when I was about three or four, I went to a yard sale with my mom. You're now your grandmother, who you are recognizing as your mother. Yeah, I call her my mom. Okay. Yeah. I went to a yard sale with her when I was about three or four years old, and there was a lady sitting there, just like looking through stuff, and she was, she looked just like her, had the red hair, had everything, and she was with one of our family members, and he was holding me, and when I saw her, I was, I was flipping out. I was screaming, I was kicking, I was climbing up on top of his shoulders. I didn't want nothing to do with it. I guess it was just from that, and then when, at the, about the same age, I guess, we were driving down, she was gonna show me where I used to live, like with my dad and her before like all this happened, and she gave me up. I saw the building, and I was, I was in my car seat, and I was kicking, and I was screaming, and I was like, I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna be here. And she was like, why? And I was, cause that's where that lady tried to push me in the tub, like tried to kill me in the tub. So from what I understand, um, some of the things that, uh, allegedly were done and uh, your mother is here today and she took a lie detector test and we're going to find out uh, the truth about certain things mm -hmm. but she tried to drown you when you were three months old while giving you a bath uh, never changed your diaper you, you ended up having severe diaper rash wouldn't pick you up when you were crying shoved the bottle in your mouth so hard that it cut your lips oh. fed him spoiled milk and would just leave you in a crib for uh, prolonged periods of time. Yeah. If, and if that's true, why would you want to meet your mother? Yeah. But I suppose the answer to that is because you want to find out if that's true. Yeah. I, just, I just want the air to be cleared. I just want everything throughout in the open. I'm gonna have you go back uh, to the seclusion room. You'll be able to listen to the show. And um, at some point, we'll bring you out and you'll be able to confront, see your mother, okay? All right. All right, thanks. All right, let's bring out Chris's biological mother, Holly. Those are lies. I never, never tried to hurt my son. Please don't sit down. I never. I never. I never tried to hurt my son. I love my son. We'll get to his it. grandmother. You know hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get to all that. We'll get to all the things that you are accused of doing. Why are you here today? Because. I'm I was so bad to see my son. I was so bad to have a relationship with him. I've always had a part of me gone because I haven't been with him. But he's always been there. I thought about him every single day. And You wrote him a letter about I a I wrote him and several ago. letters, and he never wrote me back. He never wrote me back. When I called, he wouldn't talk to me. So you know where he lived? And... I, after his dad had gotten t contact okay, with me. So, but you had an address for him and you wrote your son a letter. Yeah. Well, why didn't you go see your son? I had no money. I had no car. And I still don't have a I, How many people that come on this show and the reason why, the number one reason, I, I really, we're going to get a chalkboard next year. <laughs> and the number one reason that people don't see their children is, 
I didn't have a car. I didn't know where he was. You sent them a letter! That was a year ago when I found out where he was. Have you seen them in the past year? No, I haven't. I, they moved again. They changed their phone number again because I can't get in touch with him now. He won't even give me a cell phone number now. Did you contact the show to try to get a hold of your son? No, I didn't. Oh, he contacted he the show contacted to get in touch with me. Hmm. But I know in my heart that I didn't do the stuff she says that I did, and he, she is the reason he don't want anything to do with me. Refused to pick him up when he cried? That's a lie. That's so, a lie. So when he cried? She, all of that is a lie, When Steve. he cried, you picked him up? Yes, I did. Shoved the bottle in his mouth and cut his lip. That's a lie, too. All of it's a lie. And y'all will see, y'all see when the, when the test comes back. I was doing good. And if she would have left me the hell alone, I would have stayed with him. Your mother-in-law is here. Let's bring her out. Here's Ann. What's she at? Oh, you think you're talking Excuse about? Excuse me? No. You want to come Excuse with me? Excuse me? You want to come no, with no, me? No, 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 no. Heifer, you're the one that wasn't mature enough to take care of the child. You're the one who accused me of hurting him all the time. What the crap am I supposed to think? No, you're Excuse supposed to love time. me and trust oh, me. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to love you and me. trust you while you sit there me. on your Stop dead ass yourself. and not do anything. Your that little boy's navel was bleeding. We come to get you to You're hit a lie. No, I'm not a lie. And you telling you telling people that I was trying to drown him? That's a lie. What am I supposed to think every time you, you come in? You in the bathroom. Oh, shut up. No, you ain't you got strength enough to come in out of the you rain. You wanted him ever since the day I got pregnant. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's, that's all what your I intentions was okay. to get my son Why and run me thing? off. Did he have? I didn't have to run you anywhere, you yes, stupid you bitch. Yes, you did. No, you I didn't. You run me off. <laughs> when I was 16 too, bitch. I didn't leave him. Oh, you know what? Ain't nothing you and nobody else could have done to me make me leave my kid. You did not change his diaper. Yes, I the did. No, you didn't. The Becky yes, Center said every single freaking time you took him there. And I why? didn't take him there. Why? You came to my house. Why? I didn't Picked take him, him there. up every I, day no, and took him I to the babysitter. Yes, you did. Could it be possible um, that she was a young, inexperienced mother, that these things happened because she wasn't intentionally... Um, trying to hurt the baby, but that she just didn't know how to be a mom. Maybe not, and I tried to help her. HRS tried to help her. Try HRS to told her to come to my house and give Christopher a bath with their supervision. That's a lie. Um, that is only, not a lie. Only because they want me to, usually to read a couple of questions, and I'm going to ask this one, even though I know the answer. Uh, how do you feel about Holly? <laughs> I feel sorry for her. I really do. And I feel sorry for her because of what she missed. This kid is awesome. He is the brightest. He is awesome. He's the brightest. He's the sweetest. He was the best baby. He never cried. He was always great. We could take him anywhere. Put a hat and sunglasses on the child. He was in the spotlight and he liked it. I mean, little babies, you know, won't rip them off. Not my Christopher. Look at that baby. Look at that. That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> It, honey, you missed it. And um, I'm asking both of you to temper it down and watch your language. Let's bring Chris on. <laughs> All right. For one, there's no way you're going to cuss at her. For real, you're pissing me off. You're not going to cuss at her no okay, more. It's done. Watch your language. She stood by me, she took care of me, she paid for all my baseball expenses, she took me places, she paid for everything I ever needed. And you're gonna cuss at her like that? Disrespect her like that? She don't deserve that? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never, ever, 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 
I just don't get what you're doing. I never will. 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 I never ever tried to hurt you. Never. You. You are everything to me. I miss you every single day. Every single day. Every single day. <laughs> I'm not trying to push you out. I'm trying to kind of pull you back in, but she was there. She's considered my mom. She was there for everything. Now, having just said that, that you're not trying to push her out, that you're trying to bring her in, I'm going to ask you, do you want me to read these results? Okay. Seventeen years waiting for these results? All my life. All your life. Holly, you took a lie detector test before the show. Yes, I did. And you were given each answer, you were questioned <laughs> twice on every answer or every question, mm -hmm. right? Did you intentionally try to kill your son Chris when he was an infant? She answered no. Did you intentionally try to drown your son Chris in the tub when he was an infant? You answered no. Did you intentionally shove Chris's bottle into his mouth, causing him to bleed? You answered no. Did you intentionally not change Chris's diapers? You answered no. Did you intentionally leave Chris in his crib for hours? She answered no. Did you willingly walk away of Chris's life because you did not want to take care of a baby? She answered no. I don't know if anybody's ever been on a show waited 17 years for answers like this. And the results for Holly's lie detector test is that you told the truth. <laughs> Whatever mistakes that she made when she was 15, 16 years old was a case of being young and inexperienced and, and not ready to be a mother. It happens. The point is, at some level, you do want her in your life. You said that yourself. You're trying to pull her in. I hope this helps you a little bit. Maybe it'll help you even go further with the relationship. But the other thing is, you have two half-sisters, 14 and 10, that you've never met. If I want to meet you so bad. They're in the green room. Would you like to go backstage and meet them? Yeah. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I could do that too.